Are you ready for some cool learning? We made this program so you can practice, play some games, and have all kinds of fun. Are you ready to do some math? If you are, type your name in the box and then click on the arrow. The arrow will be on each screen you visit. Click on it to check your work and go to the next screen. If you want to leave, click on the stop sign. You don't need to use the mouse right now. Just watch and listen carefully. When you enter most pages, there is a blue help area at the top. You can get help by clicking on the question mark. This is a fact family. Each fact family has the same numbers. If you want to hear the instructions, click on the sentence. Type in the missing numeral for each fact family. When you have answered all the questions on the page, click on the green arrow. Almost! If your answer is correct, you'll get a star. If your answer is wrong, you'll get a red check mark. See how one of the ants at the bottom of the screen turned red? This tells you that some of the answers are wrong and need to be corrected later. You can go back to correct your answer anytime by clicking on a red ant. If all the questions had been answered correctly, the ant would have turned green. You got it! Work hard, and as a bonus, you'll get to play a game. It's like recess. If you want to leave the game, click on the green arrow. Whenever you see a printer on your screen, it means you can print this page for practice later. Just click on it. When you've completed all the exercises, but you have some incorrect problems, the program will automatically take you back to correct your work. Great! After you've successfully completed all the pages, you can print a certificate or play more games. If you want to start over, click on the return arrow. Remember, if you want to leave the game, click on the stop sign. Next time you play, you can start where you left off. Read the number sentence. Type in the sum. You're doing great! <laughs> Read the number sentence. Type in the difference. Wow! You are super at this! How many times can you get it right? Listen and watch the coyotes. When the coyotes are finished howling, click on them to make the same sounds in the same order as they did. If you make a mistake, you will have to start again. You get three tries, then the game is over. Click on the mouse to start. Oh, 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 oh,
Continue playing. Type in the missing numeral for each fact family. Way to go! Type in the missing numeral. Use the number line if you need help. Hooray for you! How long of a snake can you make? The snake keeps growing as it moves around the yard. Use the arrow keys to change the snake's direction. If you run into anything, you'll need to start over. Click on an arrow key or the mouse to start the game. Connect the dots. Start at the triangle. Click on the dots and count by twos to 50. Start at the circle. Click on the dots and count by fives to 100. Start at the square. Click on the dots and count by tens to 100. Good work! That was a tough one! Look at the picture. Read the numerals. Type in the answers. I knew you could do it! How many objects can your kangaroo jump over? Click your mouse to make the kangaroo jump. You get three misses before the game is over. Click on the mouse to start.
each set of numerals. Click on each numeral and drag it in order from the least to the greatest. Try this one. Complete each family of facts by dragging the numerals to the right place. Keep going! How many times can you get practice your facts? Type in the missing numeral. Getting better all the time. <laughs> Add or subtract to find the answer. Type in the correct numerals. Great job! How long of a snake can you make? Add or subtract to find the answer. Type in the correct numerals. Hey, that was a good one! Add or subtract to find the answer. Type in the correct numerals. You're smart! How many objects can your kangaroo jump? Add the ones first, then add the tens. Type in the answers.
Keep up the good work. Add the ones first, then add the tens. Type in the answers. Hip hip hooray! How many times can you get it right? Add the equations below. Be sure to regroup. Type in the answers. Not quite. Find the sums. Add the equations below. Be sure to regroup. Type in the answers. Great try. How long of a snake can you find the sums? Type in the Add the equations below. Be sure to re- You're the best! Now do the rest! <laughs> Find the sums. Type in the answers. Let's do another one. How many objects can your kangaroo jump over? Subtract the numbers, type in the difference. You're terrific! <laughs> Subtract to finish the problem. Type in the difference. You got it! How many times can you get it right? Try it! Be sure to rename. Type in the answers.
great! Subtract the numbers, type in the difference. Keep up the good work! How long of a snake can you make? Read each question. Click on the correct answer. You're doing great! Read each sentence. Click on the correct numeral. Hooray for you! How many objects? Read each number sentence. Type in the sum. Remember, always start in the ones place. You got it! Read each number sentence. Type in the difference.
It'll get easier. How many times? How many? Read each number sentence. Type in the difference. I knew you could do it. How many? Type in the answers. You can do it. How long of a snake? Can How many? Type in the. How many? Type in the answers. Try this one. How many? Type in the answers. Good! Let's do another one. How many objects can your kangaroo jump over? How many? Type in the answers. You're smart! Type in the correct multiplication problem that describes the addition problem. Hey, that was a good one! How many times can you get it right? Multiply the numbers. Type in the product. Hip hip hooray! <laughs> Multiply the numbers. Type in the product. Whoops, a little mistake. How long of a snake can you make? Multiply the numbers. Type in the product. Great job! All your answers are correct. Click on the picture with the blue ribbon to print a certificate. You can play a game by clicking on the ants playing ball or start over by clicking on the blue return arrow. If you're ready to leave, click on the stop sign.
exit. Thanks for doing math with us. See you later.